Welcome, Paul Hamilton here. Really excited to um, give you this tutorial. We're going to make an interactive um, kind of read-along book and explain everything. It's going to be fantastic. Get your kids to do it. Make one for your students. So many possibilities. So um, let's get started. We're going to jump into uh, drawing pad first, and we're just going to create some um, some graphics for our book, which which we need to do. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to backgrounds. Uh, we'll select um, a little bit of a space theme for our read-along book today, which will be fantastic. So I'll go to uh, possibly this one. This is fantastic. Um, let's also bring in a little stamp maybe with a main character or something that we actually want to include in our background. Um, let's go with a bit of a Planet of the Apes kind of feel. Uh, let's bring in this guy. This guy's fantastic. We'll put him there. Um, we might also bring in a uh, some sort of um, maybe a flying saucer or some sort of graphic in the background just to give it a little bit more. Let's bring in, yeah, this little UFO here. Make that a little bit bigger, coming in on a bit of an angle. Make our chimp a little bit smaller. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually save that. So we'll jump back in here and we'll actually save it. If you haven't used Drawing Pad before, jump in. Fantastic quick app that kids can use to create some graphics. So we're just going to go along here. We'll actually save it to the camera roll, which is the man with the boy on the shoulders there. It says save your camera roll and we're ready to roll. So we're going to jump out of that. We can keep doing that in Drawing Pad. We can keep creating our story and our graphics as we go along. But today is just about showing you how to make this read along book. So I'm going to jump in to explain everything. I'll create a, uh, a new document. And what we're going to do there on the black background is we are going to bring in by pressing the plus the picture that we just created. Uh, so there it is there. Uh, we'll bring that in. Press done. And then we're going to press the I. See the I on the left hand corner and explain everything. We're going to create, um, actually use that as the background. So you can see the bottom one there. It says create, set as background set as background, and now that won't move anywhere. So we're just going to get out of that, and you can see there that that doesn't move. So that's fantastic. Now what we need to do here is actually bring in some text. So this is our page one, and we're actually setting the scene here. So let's press on text, hold our finger down, and you can see there that we can actually choose some different fonts and do some different things. I'm going to leave it as it is. I might go with a maybe a bit of a pink color, press on my screen there and bring in our first bit of text. So let's put on a far away planet, full stop, that looks good. On a far away planet, um, let's put it there. Let's make it slightly bigger just by uh, pinching, making it slightly bigger. And there's our first text. Let's put it right there, a little bit smaller. Um, and this is slide one, so this is going to be our first page of our, um, our book. So that looks pretty good, getting it nice and straight. Um, we might put it on a bit of an angle. Why don't we put it on a bit of an angle there? So that we've got our text, um, we've got our kind of setting the scene in explain everything. And we're also going to bring in a little read-along prompt for our kids. This is really cool. I thought of this the other day and I thought, let's bring in um, a shape. So let's bring in a circle. Go to our colors, let's make it something that stands out, maybe yellow, and draw a little read-along um, a read-along circle. Now, for those that are as old as me, you'll remember in the old days, we had these little bubbles that sing songs as we go along. So we're going to use that to help our readers actually read along with the story. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to do our record. So we're going to move this guy here and we're going to bring down the circle as we're reading the story. And we're actually going to export this as a movie file. This is a fantastic thing to do. So down the bottom of Explain Everything, we're going to press the record. I'm going to do the read along sound um, and I'm going to move that little kind of planet, if you like, that little yellow planet there on each word that I say. So I'm going to be nice and quiet here and I'm going to do my read along part. So I'm going to press record. On a far away planet. And then I've just pressed stop. So I'm not sure if this comes through on it, but if I play it back, let's have a little bit of a listen. On a far away planet. 
So that's fantastic. That's the first part of my story. And all I'm going to do for the rest of my story is actually, um, actually press on new slide, go back to drawing pad, uh, create some graphics for the next part of my story, and actually um, do the same sort of thing. And so do the same sort of recording. At the final part, what I'm actually going to do is actually export the movie to my camera roll. Um, and what that will do is actually create a movie of my read-along story for my students. Um, even better, why not get your students to create a project on a new story? Fantastic little project that you can get kids involved um, that can really uh, tell stories in a digital format, but also have those read-along words as well. Um, fantastic project. Get into it. Get your kids doing it. Get yourself doing it. Um, an actual wonderful idea. Um, for creating digital stories with Explain Everything and uh, Drawing Pad. Now, this is Paul Hamilton here, signing off.